what is going on guys welcome back to another video now today's video was kind of unplanned and um, unexpected very very random um, I'd like to paint a picture here and before I go along with this story the badger was already dead I did not kill the badger the badger was already dead on the road someone else had hit it and it was just lying there going I, I hope it was already dead by the time I hit it so <laughs> I don't kill badgers unless they run out on the road on me and then I'm in a bit of trouble or if they're dead on the road and I run into them um, yes um, so I was out last night with my mates you know us being well me being a car guy I do the usual things which people find extremely weird I sit in a car park and talk about cars and people find that extremely strange that I do that sort of thing but I was doing that and it was about midnight and um, we've gone for a drive um, whereabouts where I live, as you can see, it's very countryside -y and fields and animals and stuff like that. And, you know, most of them are country back roads and all those sorts of things. So we're driving down there. I wasn't speeding before anybody said anything. It was a 50 mile an hour road and I was doing about 50, 55. So I was hardly fucking, I was hardly flying along racing the car, even though this car doesn't go that fast. Um, but yeah, I was racing along and I had a Corsa in front of me. Um, just, you know, like a miserable Corsa thing that sits in front of you that someone's paid way too much money for. But yeah, I was driving by the Corsa, so I couldn't go that fast anyway. I don't drive fast. If any, any police officers are watching us, I do not drive fast. I drive sensibly most of the time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was following this course up, and it, suddenly, it put its foot on the brakes. And I was like, okay, why are you putting your foot on the brakes? It's a straight line. Literally, it was a straight line. And um, I swallowed it within, obviously it was dry, so it was about two seconds gap between us. Um, and it went over this badger that was lying on the floor, dead, or in the middle of the road. Ow! That bad hurt. Um, and it sort of slightly nipped the courser and by the time I saw it I thought fuck <laughs> I don't know what to do I literally had no time to react to it literally if, if I try and sw ow I need to start whacking the bottom of my car that really hurts um, if, if I tried to react to it I probably would have run out over my tires instead but yeah I kind of really didn't have time to react to this badger on the floor if I try and turn to try and avoid it because it was right in the middle of the road and one would have gone on the opposite side of the road which could have caused a crash and probably injured me quite badly if I hit someone else luckily there wasn't but if I try and turn by the time I would have reacted to it my tire would have gone through the badger instead and it probably was splattered blood all up the side of my car I know it's getting very descriptive right now but that didn't happen <laughs> um, I just kind of went straight over it now luckily it didn't do what I was expecting it to do I thought I'd be dragging a badger along at 50 miles an hour <laughs> on the road just in front of my bumper luckily it did go underneath the car it did kind of drag underneath the car and it did not sound good I've got to be honest with you because badgers are big fucking things I like the size of a medium-sized dog they're big fucking animals and it kind of got stuck right here and then it flew out the back and then yeah and so obviously I hit this badger I thought fuck it's gonna you know ruin the fucking mechanics of my car so I pulled over and actually wasn't too bad well I'm in a bit of fucking trouble here because I can't pull over because those bumps are ridiculous so I'm gonna have to try and be careful about this because I will ruin half my car but yeah so I pulled over and mechanically it didn't look too bad um, I haven't noticed anything yet, but I don't know whether it's done any damage that will occur in you know, the next couple of days. So fingers crossed it hasn't done anything mechanically bad to it. It's kind of thing. But the reason for today's video is one, to explain my lovely story of me whacking a dead badger underneath my car, which was absolutely lovely. And probably one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard to fly underneath my car. Uh, <laughs> But the idea of today's video is I'm going to go to my usual spot and I'm going to jack the car up at the front and try and pressure wash all of the dead bit of badger uh, off the underneath of my car because it's starting to smell and it's not the nicest smell I've got to be honest with you even though I'm in the interior and it's nicely sealed because you know it's a good quality car 20 years ago um, I can still smell dead badger or dead animal, I don't know specifically what a dead badger smells like. Ow! But I'm starting to get used to it. And my car's scraping a lot more than normal, and I think that might be the cause of the badger. We'll find out. But yeah, so I'm heading over there now. Um, I'm gonna jack the car up and hopefully pressure wash off, off all the dead bits of badger. I know. Part of the low life. Actually, to be fair, it would have affected anybody's car, but 
it affected my cars, my car more because obviously it was two inches off the ground. It's the way it happens. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there now and I will see you guys in a bit. Right, so I've got the car jacked up, I got it here perfectly fine, and um, now it's time to look underneath and see what damage that suicidal badger that was already dead did to the underside of my car, and hopefully it hasn't ruined the car and it won't take too much cleaning. So this is going to be really unpleasant if I find any dead badger. But this is part of owning a car, so let's go search for bits of badger. I don't know how bad this is going to be, to be honest with you, it doesn't look too bad. Um, there's no real remains of badger, there's a bit of blood, but it's not actually too bad. Oh shit. Well, this is completely off the subject really, but that's what you call <laughs> part of the low life. Look at the state of that exhaust. Oh Jesus. <laughs> and my. Uh, Sump's been scraped just a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> well, I haven't discovered bits of badger, but I have discovered a massive fucking scrape on the exhaust. But anyway, I'm going to give it a quick clean. I'm going to let the car cool down a little bit because I've just driven it here and it is a bit warm. So I'm going to let it cool down and then spray a bit of it off. And hopefully, it won't smell of badger anymore. Right, so I've let the car cool down for about 10 minutes. It's never going to be cool unless I leave it for hours on end. But I haven't got that sort of time, so I've got the pressure washer where is it? There it is, down there. And I'm going to just give it a quick rinse and spray underneath and hopefully it'll be de-badgered. And that's something I never thought I would say on any of my videos that I'm going to de-badger a car. Yes, so let's get spraying and hopefully it won't smell quite as bad. <laughs> Right, so that's literally all I'm going to do. It's about to start raining as well. Um, all I did is literally just spray underneath the car and rinse it off. Now the car's kind of steamy a little bit because it was still warm. And you probably can't hear me now because it's so fucking windy. And now my hair's all messed up. I know, so vain. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, sprayed underneath the car. Hopefully all the smell of the badger's gone off. I only really notice it over time because it's not going to clear off all of it. There's my little tripod. You can see it. There it is, yes. Um, Yep, yeah, so I sprayed off the badgerness of the car and hopefully now it won't smell as bad. Um, it's kind of one of those things that you kind of can't really avoid. Obviously, as I said, you know, I saw the badger, had about a second to react. Not enough time to react and avoid a massive fucking badger. I swear that thing was like the size of a house. It felt like it anyway when I went over it. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video. Kind of a random video. I'm just talking complete gibberish as usual. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank all you guys for watching this weird video. And hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see all of you.